Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to CSO Esports uh, Cup. This is Cup number forty. My name's Ling Lad, and joining me this afternoon, evening is GX GX Alpha. What's happening, man? Hello, hello. Doing good. Nice on little bracket. Yeah. 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 Looking good. We actually have a set of matches defined this time that we're looking to cast. I'm not sure if the numbers are on screen. But if it all goes as planned, that will be match one. So Joanna versus Muzak. Muzak? Yep. Probably. Um, match eight, so that is the fourth round two match. Uh, the upper semifinals round nine, and then the grand finals. Uh, match 11. Yeah, I quite, see how that goes. Yeah, I quite <laughs> like having set matches to cast, and yeah. also gives. I, I'm, I'm not not entirely optimistic <laughs> that everything's gonna play out as as we intended to. Yeah. But <laughs> let's see. Yeah, I mean, we're just waiting for some vetoes in our first game, and we'll kick off the fortieth edition. Can you believe it's already the fortieth edition of the CSO Cup? Yeah, it's been a long time. Some, uh, some great games as well. Christiana not in this week. Yeah, but we have Goblin. We have Goblin, this is true. So this is true. So An equally uh, feared <laughs> opponent. <laughs> Definitely the favorite going into the tournament, I'd say. Yeah. There is Art. I wouldn't count him out on the second seed. Uh, well, we also have Exostraka and Eleven. 11 also pretty good so yeah i think like l upper diamond low master low master i think and somehow botvinik um seed 5 11 probably having more osc points which is how um the seeding gets done primarily and only if you have an equal amount of OSC points, I think it gets seeded by MMR. At least that's as I understand it. <laughs> I, I like the, <laughs> the the player. Um, nah, never mind. Casters just pick a map. I'm fine with them. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. Let's go hardwire. Yep. <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah, I think this is. The, the MMRs between these two players are somewhat skewed, but we'll see. Look, see if Muzak can, you know, take a map off of Giovanna. Giovanna is a. Uh, a so that's a mid diamond versus a low gold. Yeah, let's see. I mean, we, we've heard in the past other players that usually play on other servers. So we, we shouldn't count anyone out here. Yeah, looks like we're really much, pretty much ready to kick this one off. I'll do a quick race check. Ready. And we're in. Alright then. Yeah, countdown. Those members we said hardwire. Red and black, primarily. And it's a map. And it's a map, yeah. It's got like the, the third base, or one of the thirds. Uh, on the semi-high ground. The other one is down a ramp. But closer to your opponent, so... Let's see what they bring. Yeah, PVT to kick us off. Hopefully looking for some fireworks here. Glad to hear that there's a balance patch coming. Have you read about it? Have you heard about oh, it? Oh yeah, I saw it. Yeah, looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so I, I was reading up over there and it's like, Queens can no longer transfuse off creep. Yeah. I... Uh, uh, <laughs> well, let, let's get into that in in a second. <laughs> and first, introduce these players in the top right. Uh, the red Protoss player. Uh, 
who's I think shoot battery got nerfed. Mr. Wanna. And in the bottom left hand corner with the blue Terran SUVs. It is Muzak. Hmm. Okay, let me let me quickly pull up pull up the patch notes. Craft. Yeah, they are. So, yeah, the shoot battery, as I remembered, got nerfed. Mm -hmm. uh, less starting energy. That's only outside for, yeah. of the Nexus field. Yeah. So, like these void ray tem tempest sieges, probably a little too strong. And does its eyes? Dark Templars have a 0 0.75 second attack delay after blink. Yeah, I think that I was guess. I think that was for the late game DT blink onto planetaries. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, just trying to make it a bit easier in the late game. I mean, ha 15 DTs just blinking on your planetary, two swaps, and it's gone. Yeah, all right. If you're not actually like directly looking at the planetary, it sort of just melts away. So. Mm. Yeah. Then we have. A void ray nerf. Just a straight up nerf. Six ingots, longer build time. 50 more minerals. I don't like void ray, so. I agree with that patch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, in this game here, Muzak going straight up to three racks. So. Definitely looking to bring the heat. Hasn't. Started a second TC yet, so I think he's literally gonna go all out on the Marines and try push across the map. We have a Zealot on the way for Giovanna. G Giovanna. So running all the way across the map. Yeah, slow Zealot going all the way across the map. Now that must be exhausting. <laughs> But he will meet this marine down here. Oh no. He will just run straight past it. Find it and that is a dead marine. Yeah, three swaps and it's gone. As the cleaning bot watches on. Ready to start its work. The bloodshed. Yep. Oh. That'll do. Gets cleaned away by the units uh, on top of the ramp. Giovanna started plus one attack and uh, cancelled that, decided to go for plus one armor instead. So I think he's seen the mostly marine marauder. Has he rallied the zealots across the map? I, th I think so. Gateways? He hasn't. Uh, no, no, from the, straight from the gateway it hasn't, but I mean, this one zealot is actually. Making his way across the map. Yeah, but uh, that, that's actually a pretty good move because. Oh no! They're gonna miss each other. Oh. Okay, he might. He. he there. There was a glimpse, but the question is, has uh, Joanna caught it? That's not a given. No. If he hasn't looked at the, the screen or okay. the mini map. Stimpak's about to finish here for uh, Muzak, so this push is gonna get a bit stronger. Yeah, here come the shoot batteries, with which also with the patch will have a hundred energy, because they are in next range. Well, the probes get pulled into this, and nine going down so far. This push of uh, Muzak is actually packing a lot of DPS here. Stim is finished, so these Marines and Marauders can get uh, a lot, a lot tanking. Does, he, does, he, does, he, does he want to stim them? Oh, yes, he does. Yeah, because he, does. he doesn't have anything to regen them, so he has to be careful with how many times yeah, every he does stim them. Every stim is permanent. Giovanni actually loses his entire mineral line in the natural here. He's got quite a few zealots here, which might be enough. This to... is definitely worth it, and behind that, Muzak is expanding himself. Now the shoot battery is running out. Nexus doesn't have any energy. Did, did he not overcharge, but. Boost? No. I don't think he overcharged any of those shield batteries. I mean, the so he used the, the chrono boost. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, reinforcements here for Muzak do show up and I think it's going to be too much. I don't think Giovanna can hold this with just Zealots alone. Yeah, and even if he holds it, I... And now we have an overcharge. Ooh. It's getting mighty close, mighty close yeah. to more Zealots here. Yeah, that's, that's, as he, you said He earlier. will clean that, up, but <clears throat> yeah. he's lost like... One more order left. Double the resources. Yeah, Muzak with 800 minerals in the bank, so was banking up indeed a, a little bit of money there. But as you said, he's expanding it back at home. Natural is finished. Giovanna still up eight workers, so not in a completely unplayable position. But there was a strong push there by Muzak. Yeah, uh, he he kind of didn't macro behind it. Yeah, well, just a bit. So his mineral line on the natural could have been. Somewhat saturated. Does land three meals now, which will yeah. greatly help his efforts. Here come the zealots. I think that's enough to at least push them back. Yeah, a couple of these zealots are still bruised. Uh, concussive shells actually finishes up here for Muzak. So these marauders are going to be a bit uh, tanky. They are actually going to slow the zealots down. So we'll see the factory only finishing up now. As yeah, you said, Joanna, though, yeah. He doesn't mind. He doesn't feel scared. Yeah. Going up to three bases now. As it's you said earlier, Muzak said Muzak didn't have any healing power with that army, so every stem was actually permanent da uh, health damage on those marines and marauders. So. Giovanna comes in, yeah, charges in, but um, Muzak. Able to push this back. Giovanna still only making zealots. I mean, another. I think yeah. There's three more zealots back at home. Only making zealots out of his gateways. Does start blink, but there's no stalkers in with this army. He's just going mass charge lot. Plus one ground weapons about to finish up now as well. So I think for Muzak a bunk at the frontier would be a good idea, a good option, but. Uh, and yeah, here come these charge lots. They do charge in. They almost get a full surround on the army of Muzak, but a quick stim. And some just stutter them back. Yeah. I think he survives reasonably well. He does need to build a few Madurex. Does he even have a factory? I don't think so. He does have a factory. He's up he here in the main. But he isn't particularly using that yet. Or is it? Oh, yeah. yeah next to the CC. Plus one infantry weapons on the ways. Up to four racks. Yeah, he's got four racks and still only building Marine Marauder on the side of the Giovanna. He's also only building Zealots, so. Uh, in comes the next wave of Zealots. Yeah, a little bit of a. Uh, not, not all units attacking there, actually. Mm. It should still be enough Terran Bio, I think. Actually, it's getting really close. Yeah, it's starting to get really close, yeah. Oh, I can't believe the Zealots. The SCV is now getting pulled in, and I think it's a little bit late for those SCVs to be pulled in. 12 going yeah, down so far. Might be it. Wow. And if you don't... I, I, I wrongly called the game once. Wow. Not seeing uh, Muzak macro behind this, but... Joanna is macroing behind this. Fourth base here, third base. Saturated, natural, saturated. Yeah, more Main than... base, yeah, already running out, but... More than double the work supply than of Muzak, so. I would like him to see transition away from all these zealots. Keep looking at him. Yeah, three more gates on the way, plus two armors about to finish for Giovanna as well, so. Definitely in a much better position than Muzak is, but. Muzak now has a planetary on the natural, so. An armory on the way. Oof. The fifth base. Or July, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe those zealots did as well as they did. I really thought that uh, Muzak would have had enough to clean that up, but here we go. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of a confrontation just outside uh, Muzak's natural. Yeah, Stim gets triggered. Uh, still no star pot in sight. Or any type of feeling for that bio. 
which would be really beneficial, oh. but I think it might be too late to build it now. Planetary Fortress in the natural. I think it's in there. Does help out, but. Wow. There's this yellow, orange, red bio here. Yeah, and a Thor on the way. Wow. Ah. Uh, yeah, look at the supply. I mean, Giovanna's doubled the supply now. It's almost three times the amount of workers as Muzak. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure Giovanna's going to go up to the sixth base, which he actually does in the top left hand corner. Knows he's sort of got Muzak pinned back at home and can take the opportunity. I think these charge lots are going to be enough to. Oh, with the planetary, I don't know. Even. Well, that planetary, I think you need more than just salads to finish off the game as. Mm. Um, you wanna? Because planetaries the can hold against that. It's quite well if you don't have a million of them. Starport, finally about to finish up here for Muzak, and when you should swap that onto React and start reactoring out Medivax if you're gonna stand a chance of keeping this bio alive for a bit longer. In comes the next wave of zealots. Oh man. He might wow. try to just get on top of everything. Even SCVs and mules getting pulled. I think that might be an, an accident. Mm. Unless he wants them to heal the Thor. Now he builds a bunker. Two bunkers. But Joanna is saturating six bases. In come the Zealots now. I mean, this choke point held you about this Thor is actually going to save these Marines and Marauders, but I mean. Yeah, the planetary does do a lot of damage. I'm not sure if it will fall. I don't think it will. No. The is mass repairing it. More zealots coming in from the north side. Wow. This is the one of just <laughs> throwing away resources, but he's mining so much more. He can afford to get seven more gates. Yeah. I mean, wait, as soon as these gates finish up, I'd like to see what the our gateway count is. 14 at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> He's just throwing more zealots at the problem. Yeah. Mass charge lot. And our first medivac. Oh! First medivac was on the way and then he cancels and decides he's gonna build a liberator. I don't like it. <laughs> wow. I mean. <laughs> this is a lot of zealots here. Giovanna building 11 zealots at a time. 12. I saw 12 for a moment there. Wow. Yeah, I mean, he. He's obviously warping them in in waves. 100 supply advantage. Here at the comes moment. the next one. Oh, SUVs chasing these marines, saying, Get out of here! Yeah, that wasn't too great of an idea. Wow. Let's have a look at the units tab. There's 44 zealots and 93 probes <laughs> on the side of Giovanna. I mean, let's look at the structures tab. 21 warp gates, man. Wow. Yep, he's just throwing more zealots at the problem, and he can't afford it. He will slowly but surely <sighs> drown Muzak. Yeah. It's very costly. I don't want to look at the unit's loss. Uh -um. But Thors are down, SCVs are down, now the planetary will fall. Muzak is down to one base. I'm not sure if it's even still mining. Just a tad bit on two mineral patches, income the levels, and I think that that's just it. Yeah. I mean, this game is very much over. Muzak, unfortunately, not able to. I think if he had a couple of medivacs with that first push that he had in the, in the beginning of the game, this game was over. There's a little bit of healing power there. This game was going to be over, but yep. Giovanna actually going to clean this up and. Oh, this is. Come on, mate. It was like lifting the CC. Yeah, floating it over. And Giovanna can't, can't do anything against it. He doesn't have any anything that shoots up. Yeah. He built two stalkers just now. Darkball won't lift. And these others will look. Run away? Okay. Yeah, GG gets gold. Musa <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. could have <laughs> extended that game for like probably 10 more minutes. Yeah. Just by staying in it. 
Um, he does tap out though. Good to see. Uh, and we'll send <laughs> us in game into game two. Yeah, I mean that was a uh, quite an entertaining game. And like I said in the beginning, Muzak had a a pretty good sh shot, man. That first push of his was was pretty strong, but yeah, unfortunately, or, Gio or fortunately, Giovanna had uh, just enough at home to clean that up and. Yeah, Berlin Grad is gonna be our next map. And yeah. Both these players readying up and ready to kick this one off. Wow, that mass sell it. Well mass charge lots. But but intense. For some reason I expect Joanna to do exactly the same. Uh, from from seeing the, this first game, I, I don't think he does something anything else. You think so? Yeah, it, it feels to me oh. like this is very much this man's playstyle in the bottom right. The red Protoss, uh, Joanna. And in the top left hand corner, the blue Terran SUVs. Down one zero. It's Muzak. Yes, man, why can't our face Protosses just go mass charge lock on the ladder? Well, I suppose I first have to play some ladder before I can say something, okay. <laughs> 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 well. Let's see what this game has in store for us. Probe of Giovanna, just having a quick little walk around to the bottom and... Yeah, making, making sure you're not getting proxied. Not a very good... Not a very deep search for a proxy. Maybe, maybe like an... Yeah, I'll yeah, I mean you're... Uh, that's okay. M maybe that's the, the matter. Which league is he again? Diamond. He's Diamond. I don't think that's meta and Diamond. Quite strange. He takes his expansion. You think it was a, a meme to just go mass charge lot? Uh, I don't think so. You think it's a viable strategy? Been, but uh, I think if you wanted, nah, uh, not not if you wanted to. I, I think he could have won much faster. Oh yeah, I did. And um, Muzak though, gets his factory I think much earlier in the last game. Though I'm not exactly sure on the time my last game. He didn't really use it. Hmm. Perhaps this time he wants to go up to a starport faster. Yeah, he's def he skipped the, the two extra racks and he's throwing in factories. So, that's a good... Good start on the side of Mosaic. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Oh, now we have the starboard, and it will probably produce a medivac because we're also having widow mines hmm. in Inter production. Interesting. I'm getting getting a widow mine drop. This is the dog map. Oh, you can't actually it click is. on the dog. Wow, that's a very big widow mine in comparison to the dog. Yeah. Like some of those things are huge. Widow mines. Marines not so much. Marines not. It's a big dog compared to the marine. Yeah, it is. Were you casting with me when the dog just randomly exploded? Yeah, I was. Oh man, I want to go back and look at that replay because... Jeez. <laughs> that was quite... Uh, Quite hectic. Wow, Giovanna this time going up to getting two very early shield batteries. Unfortunately, yeah, I mean he saw he saw things. 
Uh, there goes a widow mine. He saw the widow mine, but he doesn't have any. Wow. Uh, detection until uh, the robo finishes. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's no medevac as you suspected. Okay. Whee! That's very cheeky. No, he try. He, he doesn't want to drop them. Ooh. Oh, oh, very Big nice. Big saddle, very nicely. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a liberator that came out of the starport. It looks like it's rallied. Is it not rallied? No. Where is the liberator? Oh, there we it go. It did come out. It did come out. Yeah, there it is, moving ro along the north side of the map. I mean, I like this for Mozak, something a bit different. Something a bit different. Yeah, Nothing that particularly you... shoots up at the moment, so. Why, why does he. Did he try to detect the mine? Okay, he, he sees one of the mines. Oh no, oh no. Ooh. But I suppose you. There we go. Both those mines. Yeah, can... you can just eat the, eat the mine and. Yeah. Uh, who cares? Uh, in comes the Liberator. There's really nothing at home to do with the Liberator. The might fly through to the main. Does. Nope. Doesn't. And nothing that shoots up. Yep. Probe's getting pulled. Two kills, three kills. Liberator moves on. Bringing some more freedom. Liberation is close at hand. These adepts gonna move up into the natural. See that there's no natural CC, so. Uh, we're gonna have, a, have another Thor being built. We don't have Glaive, do we? No, we don't. No. I mean, this Liberator Interesting causing place. a bit of trouble here in the main base. Giovanna yeah, walks in a stalker. The stalker's not very impressed by the Liberator. Yeah. Now one finally moves. The other one's still standing there. I mean, that Liberator I mean, I was the about to say. Oh, okay. That's a bold move. I guess it works. Yeah, on the other side, these Adepts are moving up the ramp. They're gonna start to pick off these Marines and... And they don't need need any... Um, any Glaives to, to win that fight, but... Here comes a Thor. does a pretty decent job of cleaning up those adepts, but Muzak still back on one base. Oh well, that's a bold move. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Or maybe think get another pro. Uh, no, not even that. Doesn't even get another pro. Pretty bold, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Can getting up, making sure no more liberators like this one can make their way way into the base. Oh, that stalker. The stalker might have seen the. Oh, well, the stalker has seen the liberator. The question is, has. The one I've seen it. So, a lot of probes. Ooh, they're gonna start long distance mining from the Probably third base. There's no nexus the third base there. Pretty soon. That kind of not very effective at the wow. moment. The Liberator gets five more kills. The thing is though, it doesn't really matter because Muzak's still on one base. And he doesn't really look like he has any. Well, I know something planned. Because... Uh, I mean, these two stalkers, yeah, they're just gonna be enough to clean up that Liberator. Yeah, yeah I mean... Fixing probes have gone down on Joanna's side, but I... It, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Joanna just keeps on building probes. Yeah, and he's also got the observer right here at the top of the ramp in the main. So he's well aware of what Muzak's doing or what Muzak has back home and doesn't see the army move out, so he knows he's got him quite well pinned back. And well, here's the fight then. Um, War Prism just flying away. Not sure that's what he intended to do. And is he just a. Besides wow. the observer, but uh, the stomp will just seal the deal. Yeah, I mean, and they can now just move up the ramp. Now they do. And I think that's game two. Yeah, I mean, unlucky for Muzak. Yeah, good effort. Uh, just stayed on one base while his opponent got up to three. Uh, intercepted the move out. One to Thor will take a final stand, but that is it. 
lifts up the main base again. That GG is out before I laugh. And Juliana takes a 2-0 victory. Hey, nicely done. Yeah. And I've already heard news that um, our nice schedule might not come to flourishing. No, because we should apparently, be good. one of the players in game 8 is missing. Ooh, that would be Exo Striker. Yeah, so. Uh, with Joanna moving up to play Goblin. That's a tough opponent to say uh, the least. Yeah. We will have 11 playing Botvinnik, who I think not that surprising. A beat a board person died. And Art will play Defiance. We cast one of those matches. Next. But first of all, we throw it into a quick two or three minute break. And hopefully have that match set up when we return. Don't go away. The swarm brought ruin to our world. Our proud people became refugees. And yet, they could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the Kala, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion.
The swarm brought ruin to our world. Our proud people became refugees. And yet, they could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the Kala, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion. Hello everyone, welcome back to the CSO cap, and like we said, our beautiful planning did not go to plan <laughs> as um, Gref got the walk over, over Exostreka. So now we're gonna have a PvP, and it is between one player we've seen, one player we haven't seen, and the player we haven't seen is this man in the bottom left, the blue Protoss goblin, but Team Roddy. And his opponent in the top right, once again, with the red ter with the red Protoss probes, it's Giovanna. G Giovanna. And G Giovanna is sending two probes across the map. He is. Mm -hmm. And at home there is a structure which is not a gateway. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see how often Goblin has been cannon rushed. He immediately checks. And he knows what's going on. Zaps. Zaps the pylon. With his probes, it will go down. Cannon and does start. So will the other one. The question is, will the cannon go up? And if it will go up, will it be powered? I don't think so. Goblin be... relatively... Well, I'm not... I wouldn't say it's a calm defense anymore. But the, the cannon won't go up, and that is it. Both get cancelled. Goblin goes back to mining and has a massive advantage now. There's two more probes streaming across the map. And Giovanna just now starts his gateway. This. Yeah, Goblin Cybernetic score has already started. As you said, Giovanna's gateway is only starting now, so... Goblin yeah. in a pretty good position. Giovanna gonna try a second time. There's additional probes up now. This Zealot, he definitely knows his kind of rough positions. Yeah, I mean, there's a gateway from Giovanna in the... in the... natural day of Goblin. I think Goblin's just gonna send that Zealot across the map. Not yeah, why not? Yeah. There's nothing at home yet. Uh, there will be. Uh, can't do anything against that cannon. The gateway, I think, was just to block off um, 
the, the, the zealot from getting to the cannon, which was still constructing. And now, well, this cannon is pretty useless because he doesn't have high ground vision. And he won't get high ground vision because Goblin has his main base walled off. This cannon will, might get a few shots if the probe gets it just right. Oh, now it's dead, so... <laughs> this is pretty over. We have the zealot just checking out, making sure there is no natural. We'll not see the gazelle of Joanna moving out. <laughs> Kills a cleaning bot. Poor cleaning bot. I mean, back he home. He didn't do anything wrong. Goblin's he just followed his goodies. Yeah. Goblin's cleared off that first cannon. And now. Oh. And yeah, now he gives, gives the zealot high ground vision. Does he just run across the map? He does. I mean, it is just one photon cannon, so... He let the zealot regenerate his shields. That's certainly a possibility of... I mean, is Goblin just expanding that oh, did, did he forget about the cannon here? He might have, because... This expansion isn't gonna go up. That's... That's really interesting. Yeah, I was gonna now say, we'll, I think, I think we'll Goblin deal some damage. Well, on the other side. Oh. Goes up the ramp. A photon cannon and a stalker is gonna be enough to drive this away. Yeah, but the photon cannon now badly bruised. Stalker's going home. And this is finally over. Did some good hole damage to the Nexus. I believe. Yeah, mm. it did. Not that big of a deal, and yeah, the skateboard just to to block up the zealot. Speaking of zealot, zealot for Joanna going back home. And the expansion will finish now. Wow. And this, oh Feels no. Bad. Yeah. You didn't battery. have to kill the cannon. The shield battery just finished healing that shield, but the that cannon. Yeah. <laughs> so then, uh, and now, this probe will meet the stalkers moving across. The cannon isn't alive anymore. And uh, I'm not sure if the numbers are enough to go up the ramp. There's a zealot in there as well from Joanna. Goblin might try. Trust his micro. Not quite enough. I mean, Jibad is just uh, holding on. Yeah, he's even chronoing out plus one attack. First I mean, if you have the forge, why not? Yeah, yeah. Kudos to Giovanna for sticking in here for this long. I mean, it let the cannon rush, even though it failed, it was still kept uh, Goblin on one base for quite a long time. So, kudos to Giovanna for you know at yeah, least well making now, a game of this. He has more stalkers on the scene. Uh, the reinforcements just arriving for Goblin. He tries to get a nice little arc. Ooh. Oh, loses one while not quite getting the kill on Joanna Stalker. Uh, but an immortal at home should be able to protect him. Once that finishes, gets a nice fight down the ramp from his perspective. His army is now split. He might just try to snap some reinforcements with the rest of the army up north of the camera. Hmm. Giovanna, even though he doesn't oh, have blink... Get, the, get this around. Yeah. Yeah, and unfortunately Giovanna's gonna lose all his units, yeah. That is GG. Yeah. As Goblin defends the counter rush. Macros out of it. And takes map number one. Yeah, I mean, like I said, good on uh, Giovanna for making a map of that, a match of that one. That was pretty good. Pretty good, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, these uh, players' MMR is a, a little bit of a difference. Yeah, 
have. I mean, both these players ready to go. So, we're just going to kick straight into game number two. There's going to be glittering ashes, so... Map we haven't seen today yet. Pretty much ready to kick this one off. Spawning in the bottom left hand corner. Playing for Team Rotti with the blue Protoss probes. It's Goblin. I'm such a <laughs> an idiot. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you want to do Giovanna? I, I, I didn't know. I, I was talking the entire time. <laughs> Just over. Uh, it must have been silent on your side then. It was completely and silent. I, I only got very confused when, when I started. My great transition into the player intro, and you suddenly started talking. Yeah, I was like, okay, I'll see you moving the camera. No one's talking. I was like, must be muted. I'll do the <laughs> intro. I'm so, I, I should make make myself an up with your mother. Does like beep beep beep. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Anyways, in the top right, his opponent, Joanna. Oh man. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Proxy I was so proud of that part. What, of your intro? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like and the fact no that Goblin is... Hear it now. Yeah. The Goblin is going up to two gates this game, so... Whoa. So... No, that's rough. It is a three-gate proxy. Yeah. It's... Moderately far away from the base. Probably in a spot where Goblin won't notice it immediately. And I like the fact that Goblin's walling behind Giovanna's pylon. Is he gonna let that pylon finish? Oh, okay. I made it grant some high ground vision. Not too great in terms of getting through the wall. When your zealots arrive. Will tickle the panel with his probe now. Two adepts on the way for Goblin. I don't think Goblin knows that there's a proxy going on here, but these adepts might spawn on the wrong side of the gateways and. Well, he, he will see you now which the correct side should be. Does he change the spot? He doesn't. He wants them to spawn on the outside. Because, well, after that, they can. Rack Havoc on wow. his opponent's side, but two Adepts versus four Zealots, it's, that's a difficult battle. Secondary wall gets up. The oh, and there's Adepts a probe pool! Through there's the probes! <laughs> Where did they come from? They pulled the boys! There, there are more and more walls. These Adepts um, will spawn. On the back side oh, of the of the he's wall. He's gonna clean up the two adepts on the on the outside of the wall. Is he? Yeah, you can you, you can micro all you want, but at some point, uh, you, too many units are too many. Now let's see if these can push through. Goblin is doing a good <laughs> job minimizing the, <laughs> the surface area of each building. Well, just walling and then walling and walling. Goblin, yeah. nothing's handling this pretty okay. Have cyber cores and air upgrades for ages, but it looks like oh no. He breaks through. He does break through right now. He has to micro for his life. Shield battery is there. Two additional adepts pop, and I think that should be enough to clean wow. the attack up. <laughs> now it was costly, but 12 probes fell on the side of Joanna. Yeah, and now these adepts um, just These four adepts, yeah, yeah, they should be able to finish <laughs> off the game. Get your G's out, anyways. It was a nice attempt. But it will be 2 0 in favor of Goblin. Oh, that was nice. What, what a proxy. <laughs> <laughs> and it got close in, at some parts. No, that was pretty good. I'm, I'm well impressed, eh? I'm not gonna lie, I'm well yeah. impressed. <laughs> 
So that there are two semifinals ready. There is Goblin versus Botvinnik. There's Art versus Graf. We're going to cast one of them. I do believe uh, Art versus Graf has started already. All right. Well, that that leaves that will only leave one match. They will still have to do vetoes and stuff. So I think we're gonna throw it into a very short break, depending on how long the players take for the vetoes. And after that, we'll have the semifinals, probably between Go Goblin and Botvinnik. The swarm brought ruin to our world. Our proud people became refugees. And yet, they could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the color, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion. Hello, and welcome back to the CSO Cup number 40. So we're into the semifinals. It's Goblin versus Botvinnik. TVP. Again, one player we we've seen before in Goblin. Uh, taking down D. Joanna in a 2 0 mana. Versus Botvinnik. 
a Terran player. Both of them are GM. I'm excited for this match. Yeah. I think it's going to be good. I agree 100%. This is definitely going to be a banger of a game. Well then, let's start with introducing these players in the bottom left. Playing for Team Roddy, the blue Protoss Goblin. Flipped off my key there. And in the top right with the red Terran SUVs. Playing for Genesis Gaming, it's Botfinic. Look at that red command center with uh, like that, that spray on the left. Mm. Plus the clan badge. The Genesis Gaming badge. I think that looks dope. Yeah, pretty fresh. I'm really. And I have my game graphics on low, so. Oh. Bummer. <laughs> and that, that must look even more dope. Yeah, it does. I'll tell you. I have mine on Ultra, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is definitely one of the games that I'm probably most looking forward to. This one's going to be like a real a banger between these two. So. Oh, oh yeah. no. Oh, what no. happened to the cleaning bot? It also just spontaneously combust. Yeah. What's going on, man? Why do we seem to I, have this? I, I, I saw a goblin selecting it like a few seconds before that. Oh, maybe. Then deselecting it. Maybe if you multi click on multi click on it like multiple times. I don't know if you remember like Brood War days. If you clicked on a unit like 20 times, it would say something different. Do you know, do you know what? Uh, I'm like, like pretty sure that's still a thing in StarCraft 2. You think so? Yeah, I, I think I'll, I've tested that once. Oh, so I, I, I'm going to go test it. Now that I think about it, I'm just like, actually, I, I do remember. Yeah, Botphoenix. <laughs> this probe <laughs> goblin comes to, to block the CC and Botphoenix. Like, yeah, you not, know what? not too effective against Terrans. Yeah, I'll just. I'll yeah, just it definitely the annoys them, but. Mm. Yeah, I think that's like a general thing in Blizzard games. Or Blizzard RTSs. I'm definitely going to check that out because it's something I used to enjoy doing. Maybe a cleaning <laughs> bot star like that? Maybe, but like I, I didn't see it. Uh, wait, you don't deselect it by just clicking multiple times, right? Yeah, that would make a bit of sense. Yeah, I mean... It's, it, it's, it's certainly a way to spend your APM. Yep, spamming APM. I mean, let's see. This game is a Twilight Council on the way for Goblin, so... Like I said, this is going to be a bang of a game. Twilight on the way. And uh, for the first time this evening, two somewhat evenly matched opponents. For the first time so far. Well, yeah, that we've I mean, had to cast. Though. That we've had to cast. Right. Yeah, so CC lifts lands just two or three seconds later. Not really an issue with the probe plug there. Hmm. That means they might have a kill on the probe. I've, do you know I when don't. the balance patch is going to hit the ladder? I mean, it isn't even certain that it is going to hit the ladder. Or not in its current form. I mean, they've, they've uh, dubbed it 5.09, so... Yeah, of course, but um, that, that's where, it, where the... Why it's, uh, it's a test realm. Oh yes, I, th I think they're, I they're looking like what? What are the effects of Queen can no longer transfuse uh, so off a creep? Yeah, like th that's like only against Queen walks because uh, in first I thought maybe it's against Nidus's, but a little further down, Nidus's now have Im immediately have creep around them, so it's certainly for Queens to be able to transfuse, transfuse them. Yeah, yeah, that's to keep the the Queen Nidus all in. Yeah. So that's like just against Queen Walks, which I find interesting. Yeah, I think Queen Walks. Well, these Marauders look badass. Yeah, they do. For a second, I was wondering what Goliath were doing there. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Brood War days. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. This push will arrive as people. Goblin is taking his third base, but he's taking it on the low ground, so Botwinnik will not immediately scout it. He checks the other third base first, 
Please, then there is nothing there. Because of shells now on the way. He has them available. Immediately snipe off the shield battery. This will help him greatly. Wow. Stims up. Focus. Focus one Marauder. Goes down. Yeah, Second stim. Yeah, also it was a lot of damage. Looks like Botvinnik's gonna sacrifice these units, but I mean, he's done quite a bit with them, so. Yeah, that's 10, 10, 10 probe kills and like. 3 or 4 stalkers. Yeah. Plus stalkers. I think that's not bad. Yeah, he still doesn't know about the third base. I mean, I, I, he has to presume that uh, Goblin's up to a third base already. He did check the 6 o'clock position for it. For an yeah. expansion, but um, I think he, he would have sniped it if he could have. But yeah, and I think seeing the it amount wasn't of really the priority of that push. Yeah, you know, seeing the amount of units that Goblin had, he had to have known that uh, there is a third base. I mean, that's 400 minerals. That would have been an extra four stalkers. Stalkers 125, probably 125 minerals. So I mean, he would have already seen the. Uh, he would have seen extra units. Yeah, good scan bug bot for Nick to pick off that observer. Yep. Ooh, Colossus um. on the way, thermal lance starts in plus one, so yeah, looks like we're getting into a pretty pretty decent game here. Still one times Artosis pylon in the natural there, so if bot for Nick pushes in and picks off that pylon, it's, it's really gonna depower quite a few structures there. There's two more gates coming up in the natural, so Yeah, at least he will know if something arrives. Yeah, the second observer a little bit further away from the base, so his vision is a little more limited, but it won't immediately get sniped off. What I won't see is this Madivac drop leaving. Yeah, this skin that Botvinnik's playing with is really cool, man. These Medivacs yeah. actually look pretty sick. He's playing with style. Of course, we are playing with um, the game art mod, so he doesn't see him, them himself. Yeah. Which I, I always found a little weird. It doesn't make sense that you hide them for the opponent. So that the opponent plays against default skins, but why should you play default skins? Whatever. He comes in, he drops. And that could cause a lot of issues. Two Colossus. Oh. I was going to say, chooses to unload... Um Behind the mineral lines, and I mean, there's there's one stalker here. That's I mean, that double medivac drop has obviously pulled the army out of position. And Botvinnik with another, f with the secondary force here, now challenging the third base. Quite a few charge lots going down there, and actually the double medivac. Meanwhile, drops in the natural. Yeah, yeah. Some nice multitasking there. Gets to kill on the third. Um, still fighting in the natural. Oh, that makes throw. Oh, wow. Picking up Marauders individually, a uh, stock is fire up then. Yeah, leaves two Marines back <laughs> back in the middle of the line, but uh, saves yeah, the two medivacs. I think that was the right call, keeping the medivacs alive and losing the two Marines. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Goblin poised at that 6 o'clock position. Looks like he's going to take another base there. Um, probably not a, a bad decision. Yeah, he doesn't really mind from these mineral fields. Yeah, retaking his third, so. Even has a probe. Radiant waiting. On the fourth base. Yeah. Good decision. Well, those Vikings look like X-Marts. Vikings spread well. out of Starcraft. Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars, sorry. yeah, yeah. They look like x as <laughs> man. So cool. So glad you can see Vikings this on Vikings spread out graphics. of Starcraft, of course. <laughs> 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 Not the Scandinavian region. Mm. Disruptors on the way. One already out. Uh, to assess, assist the Colossus with um, area damage. Well, that's a very serious long distance mining operation going on there for Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> that was a as very right as the Nexus finishes up. Yeah, yeah, it was such a serious long distance mining operation. And this is a serious push. Oh. 
with like 40 army supply up against the golden against which he has dealt some damage in the early game this zealot will spot the army so goblin is aware what does goblin choose to do and goes down snipes off one viking yeah i mean the the scan was really good there so yeah what? that disruptor doesn't really hit anything second disruptor misses completely Third disruptor gets a few. Big front on both sides. Yeah, I mean the addition of the Vikings here for uh, Botfinnik doing a really good job of taking out those Colossus. Now the Vikings land and Vikings do actually quite a bit of DPS here. Yeah. Three more, four more disruptors back home. I mean, these disruptors, if they fire their purification nerves, they probably managed to take out, uh, yeah, take out what's on the ground here, but still, Goblin yeah, not. They, they first have to actually hit. There we uh, go. That, uh, these are quite some hits, so he now gets gets the disruptor shots you tried to in the beginning of the fight, and is able to push back Botvinnik. Yeah, wow. Escape. I mean, Botvinnik had uh, 40 army supply advantage it's then. Good. Oh, yeah. Goblin cleaning up the medivacs as well. Nothing survives the onslaught. And good cleanup by Goblin. Supplies pretty much even yeah. now. Botvinnik losing quite a bit in that push. I mean, I, I actually thought. Botvinnik had, had it there for a moment. The way he just massacred those Colossi, landed the Vikings. There was so much DPS on the ground, but... Yeah, I, I also really liked him. A lot of his army tried to, to get an angle here. Mm. Um, from both So from both here and here. With the army only being in the middle. But then the reinforcements came from the left and pretty much neglected all of that. Yeah. And suddenly it was... Botvinnik really um, getting getting the worst worst flank oh getting flanked that's the word I'm looking for <laughs> feels bad for that observer man there's a sensor tower there Botvinnik should know that that uh, the sensor tower is down don't see um do they not see uh, observers nope Would or anything cloaked um yeah anything cloaked so they won't see DT Zada? Nope, not that I'm aware. Interesting. Interesting. You'd, you'd need to use missile turrets for that. Yeah, missile turrets and a planetary on the way. Ghost Academy also on the way, so. Botmanic really looking to take up into. Uh, later game, late game tech. Darkshawn on the way. Yeah, it looks like we're we buckling down for a long one. Yeah, indeed. The start of Dark Shrine, which after blinking soon will no longer be able to immediately attack. Yeah. If the patches go through as they are on the test build, which is not a given. Well, they they do. I I like that they target very specific pushes or types of aggression, which uh, without really um, making units worse uh, generally. So the yeah. queen still as strong on creep, just the queen walk. Yeah. Still as strong with the knight is warm. I gotta say, I really like that. Yeah, I think the changes, I think a lot of the changes have to be, or a lot of the suggestions have been made from the community, and it's good to see that, uh, as you said, they're not doing, uh, it's not adjust, not changing the units too much, they're so really looking at sort of how the units are being used without nerfing a unit into nothing. Oh, that was a missile turret. I thought it was going to be a sensor tower. Might have misclicked there while building. That zealot on a killing spree. Three kills. Yeah, well now was, it's dead. Was on a killing spree. <laughs> 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 I mean, look at the production tab. I mean, both these players just queuing stuff up. I mean, DT blink on the way. That's the war prism speed. 
Nice to see the, the shield level 1 about to finish up here on the side of Goblin. Both players almost maxed here, both players maxed at the moment and... Okay, this looks like... We will take the engagement now, oh. big EMP. And the disruptor shots initial to not hitting anything. Oh, another the big EMP. The zones going up. Disruptor shot not really getting a lot again. Yeah, I mean, Botfinic trying to press the issue here. Around. Rotates around to take out this third. It looks like he's gonna try to take out the third base again. His purification. Oh, that was, was a big. Yeah. Big Nova. Is Nova not as big? But I think it's enough for. Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I think Goblin's got enough to hold on. Yeah, but he do, ha, does lose 22 probes in all of this. I mean, so. Yeah, it's it's a costly fight for him. But the Nexus stands, and I think um, last time. Yeah. Last time that's, the Nexus gets very Yeah. It's five and base against four base. Base, so. Yeah. Well, as I say Which... that bot for Nick's flying over his fifth CT, so Yeah, I mean that that's fight for Bot for Nick, probably not the best. He was obviously hoping to snipe the Nexus there, but uh it's... No, that was a solid defense. Yeah, it looks like War Prism Speed's about to finish up as well, so... Is Prism gonna be a speedy boy? Gravitic Drive, yeah. Alright, as it arrives, there is a missile turret. So it has to be careful. Oh, he, he didn't even see the base yet. Now he does. Warps in some Zadots, I assume. I like how they've seen each other, and then Goblin just decides to go away. Or present some Templar. Ah, tempests, not Templars. Tempests. Two Tempests at a time. Hm. Now is really the first time that Goblin is moving out. Yeah. To try to deal some damage. This is not really an army with, with now now it is an army with which you could fight. Takes a two, three liberators immediately. EMP hits some Oh okay. no, oh wow. no. Yeah. That was a good shot. But I mean look at the supplies, I mean that purification over took out quite a few units. The Botvinix still hovering was at one ninety when that happened, so I mean he was max. There's a little army pushing into the third base of Goblin and a couple of probes are going down right now. A little bit of a run but nothing. Yeah, I thought it was a lot more than what, <laughs> what it actually Five was. Our Templars are warping in. That's, yeah. And thanks to Blizzard not actually fixing bugs in the game, you still can't click on them in the production tab. But these are the big Dark Templar force. And they... This, this female Karak, he doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. Just can't move. Yeah. Can't see anything, but can't move either. Wow, that observer of... Uh... Goblin seeing the three medivacs moving out. So good, man. So good. Those yeah. TTs are on the move. They got, yeah, they, oh, there is a missile turret there, so. And this Dude. is exactly what the patch is trying to stop. Yeah. Well, there goes a the planetary N16 SCVs. Yeah, a nice little recall as well. That's definitely going to help the defense. I mean, but Phoenix moving across the map now. I think he's rallying across the map. Yeah, while Goblin's army is kind of out of position uh, to defend this at least, there are just two Tempests. Uh, Liberate is actually mo using their air attack, which is a little bit stronger than the Sentry Ticker Beam. <laughs> and the Templar auto attack. High Templar, that is. Here's another little hit squad, which will now deal some damage. Not much, only one Marauder firing on that probe, but... Yeah. Oh. This Nexus fell! Wow. Oh. Wow, that blink... This is so hard to judge. Yeah, I mean, that blink forward actually picked up quite a few Liberators and a few, I think, one or two Vikings there, so... As the Dark Templars... ...save the day. Oh. Wow, two many actually falling there. Yeah. Wow, this game really... 
really heating up, and that's nice to see. I mean, these two players, obviously, they've obviously played against each other quite a few times. They know each other, and they are what should be evenly matched. Both of these players GM, so we are definitely looking at uh, what could easily have been the grand final of the CSO Cup, but only one of these players is going to go on. Yeah, and it's not even one map over. Yeah, I mean, Art, I've just checked the bracket, Art is in the grand finals waiting with a 2-0 win against um, uh, Gref93. <laughs> yeah, like and though certainly a respectable opponent as well. Yeah, so, for either of these two players in this game, so, uh, you've got a bang of a semi-final and really some, some serious grand finals to look forward to, so. Yes, indeed. His observer, he's living Ooh. the risk. He sees the scan and just after five seconds decides to move out and goes straight back. High risk, high reward. There we go. Gets yeah, he sees the army movement exactly. Knows where he shouldn't move in with his army. Man, observer is very valuable. I mean, that war prism is still positioned there at about the 10, 11 o'clock. I think is that the is that the war prism? Yeah, war prism still and there. One dark Templar. There's one dark Templar here as well, making sure there are no more expansions. Now this might be the fight. EMP going off in the wow. front. Big disruptor hits as well on the ground. Yeah, I mean those liberators got taken those out players. really quickly there, man. Yeah, those players backing out, but. What's the unit ever? There's four carriers good. in this army, so. And that was good damage against air, and um, the nice disruptor Novas. <laughs> That's good. the DT squad. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. Runs away again. Scan by Botvinnik and the DTs just run out the the scan range. Yeah, I mean goblins. Okay. I was gonna say goblins. Expanding into the bottom right hand corner, something was there for Botfinnik in that bottom right hand corner, but uh, it got taken out. Botfinnik yeah, knows it. Some scouting probably. Mm. And this base is under threat from a little. No, that's not a stalker. It's well, that's the entire army. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean the supply is heavy yep. in favor of goblin at the moment. Who's up 60 army supply. Yeah. So no way for Botfinnik to defend this. Yeah. Base which was his third once, no fourth. Whatever it was, it is no more. Where is the rest of his army? Here it is, it's not that big anymore. Disruptor Nova's going off. Not catching anything yet. Lock stock is blinking forward, disruptor Nova's there's nothing to kill anymore. Okay, it's pretty much I think all lighting of lighting start falling. I think all of uh, Botvinnik's army is in the air at the moment. There's a few Vikings and quite a few medivacs here, so... His army supply graph probably a bit skewed because of the amount of medivacs he has, but there's absolutely nothing left to... Yeah, Botvinnik agrees. There's absolutely nothing left to combat the army of Goblin. and A, a really good game one between these two. Goblin taking the, one, taking the victory and... Really enjoyed it. Berlin yeah. Grad map 2. I like what I saw. This is some proper, proper StarCraft as we like to see it. Also, I just noticed Goblin in that game, the, the fastest Protoss ever, at like 350 APM, 340 or something. Wow. He was even higher, like 100 APM up on, on Botvinnik. Not, not that that's an, a really important metric because you can just be spamming something, but he's been busy spamming if he was spamming. Usually these kinds of APMs are only seen from dark players. We naturally have a little higher APM due to the race. Well, let's take a little breath as we go into this match. And the player leading 1-0. It happened again. 
Ah, I saw it. I saw it, man. It happened again. Did he purposefully kill it? Must In be. the bottom right, I've one oh. Team Roddy's goblin. And in the top left hand corner, down one zero. Red Terror player from Genesis Gaming, it's Botfinick. Still looks so cool, man. It really does. Hold on. Having a look I think we can breathe for a second here. Mm. Before this game takes up speed again. This goblin is just scouting around. Seeing a dog. This one doesn't explode. It would be so funny if it did, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probe looks at it and, like, immediately yeah. goes. <laughs> That would be funny. Again, there with the probe, trying to annoy an expansion, but he's seeing the CC going up on the high ground. Probe is trapped there, and the Reaper will make sure it won't stay where it is. There's going to be a Reaper uh, opener this time from Botvinnik. I, yep. I don't recall seeing a Reaper in the first game, so... His skin is... Uh, what, what are these skins, man? Yeah, pretty cool. Really, really cool. Just not the SCVs, they look pretty standard. To me, at least. No, they do look pretty standard. That Reaper, man. As he pumps some lead into the pylon. Okay, we'll make sure doesn't lose any more HP. <laughs> Factory finishes up. Second you can't even click the dog. Yes, I tried that earlier. You can't even click on the dog, so... It would be nice if you clicked on it and it just said, Good boy. <laughs> oh, goodest <laughs> boy. That would be cool. Is that SCV blocked on the... In the natural? The low ground natural of Botfinnick? Yeah, SCV is just... Yeah, well, up. he clicked it on the minerals. Um, his depots were up. So it just runs against the wall. Uh, maybe he finds it there. Yeah, I mean... Because now the depots are down. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna try keep a keep an eye on that. That is to be just chilling. It. Oh, there we go. scv has gone back to mining. What for Nick? Well, even this uh, Hellion looks pretty slick, man. Yeah. Three wheeled Hellion. Nice. What for Nick is attacking with style. There's a raven on the way here for Botfinnick, so... A little bit of a different game too here, between these two players. So far... Reaper and Hellion just making sure there's no third. Poke into the natural, but there are stalkers to defend. Where are we tech-wise? Getting blink. Three gates and, and a robo. Yep. Two. Two more racks on the way. Hang up, serious? Yeah. That, that raven could also be from Star Wars. Yeah. Can't tell you what ship that was in Star Wars, but uh, I'm not saying it is, but it certainly looks like it would fit into Star Wars. Mm. Well, oh, it's gonna observer obs get that. Does make it out. Goblin's got a couple of units moving across the map now, so. Uh, as he expands, we take a third. Battery on 10%. That runs out, I'm no longer able to check the stream. 
Marcus getting a tank shell. The linking back out. The patrolling around the Hellion and the Reaper. Need the stalkers it. here. Also still looking at the base. Hey, they get a kill. I do like the fact that the observer of goblins moved a little further back knowing that there's a raven on the field. Yeah, indeed. This game, not too much aggression, nor players looking at poking around. Yeah, I think you say that. Nice. What? Ludwig is moving out. Stalker's getting... Just lost two marines for now. Make it three. I think Goblin's just gonna try to pick off what he can as this army heads towards his third base. Because that's a scary looking force for what... Ah... Uh... Goblin has back at home. He's there. He's still it though. Doing good bit damage. Yeah. Tanks being each can't really attack the stalkers. Yeah, auto terrorists come down from the Raven, and this is going to be cleaned up by Goblin. He even takes out both medivacs. Wow. Only the Raven survives. That's a disaster. Yeah, he just Ooh. taps out. Jeez. All right. GG. Well, I mean, Botfinex sort of saying, well, I think he was done with that one, and yeah, that will bring us into the finals, and it brings Goblin into the finals, where he will play Art in a best of five. And we're gonna have that on stream very shortly. Until then, we're gonna head into a short break and have that finals ready when we return. Don't go anywhere. This war brought ruin to our world. Our proud people became refugees. And yet, they could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the Kala, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion.
today, we retake our homeworld. And with it... We retake our homeworld. We retake our home... We retake... The swarm brought ruin to our world. Our proud people became refugees. And yet, they could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the Kala, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion. Today, we retake our home world, and with it, our legacy.
armies will be shattered. Worlds will burn.
The swarm brought ruin to our world. Our proud people became refugees. And yet, they could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the Kala, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you waited a long time to see the grand finals. And it's so stupid. I have to disappoint you, and I'm sorry. Um, because Art went missing. Which means we're gonna have um, Goblin has been given the walkover. In, yeah, what could be described in a disappointing grand finals after we saw that amazing semi finals, but uh, sometimes that's just how it goes. We do have a result for the bronze match where Botvinnik managed to get the 2 0 over Graf. Yeah, un unfortunately that was already playing when it got obvious that Art was playing something else or wasn't there, at least. So yeah, we can only give you that result <laughs> and with that have to end the stream. Unfortunately. Yeah. Well, yeah, thanks for tuning in on behalf of myself and the GX. We appreciate yeah, you sorry guys. Sorry for the wait. Yeah. We really, it, <laughs> it sucks a little. Yeah, on our, for us as but well as for you. So Indeed. Tune in next week where we do have the CSO contender. That will be brought to you once again by us on the desk. And um, yeah, we look forward to having you next week. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time. Bye.